Apparently, seasoned actor KCBI is being accused of rape by Zukiswa Zukisaling Futela, who is a former Gagasi FM presenter. Good day and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please like, please comment, please share and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for your love and for your support. K. Sbia, born Kumbulani Sbia, is a South African actor and media personality. He was first introduced to us on Uzalo as Ayanda Mleche. K. has been casted on Generations as Siyanda, Jack Mabaso's younger brother. He also appeared on The Queen as Kwanele. He has appeared in a number of TV productions and shows, so we can safely say that he is an accomplished actor. Zuki Zaling, real name Zuki Swavutela, is a 46-year-old woman who was a radio presenter for Gagasi FM from 2012 to 2016. She first worked for East Coast Radio at the age of 16 and from the age of 20, she was a marketing manager for Equiquiz FM and Debele Radio Station which belongs to SABC. After being fired from Gagasi, she found another job with African Business Radio which is an internet radio station. K, who is 35 years of age and Zukiswa who is 46 respectively, had an affair in 2014 which resulted in her falling pregnant. And according to K, they had sex only twice and on one occasion the condom broke during their lovemaking session. He then told her to take morning after pills since he was not ready to be a father. And after quite some time, Zukiswa informed him that she was pregnant and K did not take it lightly. He told her to abort since he was in a serious relationship with his then girlfriend, Judy. Zukiswa refused to abort the baby and that is when the whole drama started. After the birth of the baby, K refused to take responsibility and Zukiswa took to social media where he penned a letter claiming that K was not a good father and that he also asked her to have an abortion. K then responded saying that he does not believe that Zukiswa's baby is his because she promised to take the morning after pill when the condom broke and he now wants a DNA test but Zukiswa is refusing Instead, she's parading everything on social media. He claims that Zukiswa was just determined to destroy his life and his career. When contacted for a comment by a publication, Zukiswa said that K chose to be an absent father and to him, the baby does not exist. He wanted her to, to have an abortion and she could not do it. So instead, she is raising a child without bothering him. All this drama happened in 2015. So now, in March of 2017, DNA tests were conducted and they proved without reasonable doubt that Mr. Sibia was the biological father of the child. Zukiswa then opened a case of defamation of character against him, citing that he embarrassed her by denying their child and accused her of sleeping with the younger man. Sources that were close to the situation say that although the results proved the child's paternity, K still refused to take responsibility. He thought the results were not legit and he was going to appeal them in another laboratory. K's family, especially his father, Mr. Gabriel Mahlangu, says he has had enough of Zukiswa's drama and insults. He claimed that he expected Zukiswa to handle this matter better since he was the older one. Between the two, he thought she was mature. He said that traditionally, when a girl is pregnant, her family approaches the boy's family and pregnancy is discussed. But in their case, Zukiswa started attacking him through text messages and he did not like that very much. He also went on further to say if only they could sit down as adults and resolve these issues amicably, he was more than willing to take care of his first grandchild. So it is alleged that Sukiso was fired from Gagasi FM because of all this drama which was going on in her life. She often missed it a shows at the station and she was also unhappy with the colleagues who often gossiped and made comments about her private life. 
but Gagasi FM denied ever firing her, saying that she breached her contract by not showing up for work many times. And now, fast forward to February of 2023, Zukiswa has surfaced again bashing K. This time, she has surfaced with rape allegations. She took to her social media and bashed K for allegedly taking advantage of her, which resulted in their child being conceived. She stated that Sebia was sent to kill her, but instead he drugged and raped her, thinking she was drunk, but she remembers everything that happened that night. She said she was quiet, but now she wants everything out in the open and wants the world to know what type of a man K is. She says she is writing a book about her first rape encounter and all other rape attempts that had been attempted on her. She went on to say that although her daughter was conceived under, under such circumstances, she had made peace with the traumatic experience and loves her daughter very much. Zukiswa is also asked and pleaded with the public to treat her daughter with dignity despite the conditions in which she was brought in this world. She has continued to post numerous posts on social media slandering Sibia. In her latest post on Facebook, she claims that he is gay and he's still in the closet. So good people, tell me what you think about this whole situation between Zukiswa and Kay. Do you think it's really necessary for all this drama? Do you think what Zukiswa is doing is right? Or do you support Kay's decision of being a deadbeat father? Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video. Until next time, it's a bye for now.